guys, it is Doug. What's up? And today I have another fall candle review for you. I have Blackberry Tea by Yankee Candle. This is brand new for 2019. Now, it's not part of the farm stand collection or farm, I'm sorry, farmer's market collection. I keep getting farm stand, farmer's market, mis, you know, mistaken. The farmer's market collection. It's not part of that, but it might as well be. And it came out with all those other candles. It's, um, yeah, pumpkin apple parfait, this candle and the oak and amber incense those were not part of the actual collection but they were still new for 2019 for fall so as you can see here i burned this one quite far down so let's get into the actual review of blackberry tea straight up scent wise this is one of the uh you know my favorite scents that i've burned in quite a while it's an it's an amazing blackberry scent <sighs> to me there's fresh blackberry, um, a little sweet blackberry, almost like a pie filling, but not, you know, I say, I say pie filling because it's a sweeter blackberry. It's not really a super sugary one um, or like you get in a jam, but it's not necessarily super tart either. It's just a really good fresh blackberry that's a little bit sweet. There's a definite tea note here, especially when you're burning it, like a hot tea. It reminds me of a good blackberry hot tea, which is actually, you know, absolutely delicious. I, I love that. Um, with a little bit of sweetness in it. And then there's a tiny bit of like a floral water undertone. I think Yankee says rose water. I don't necessarily get rose, but I do get uh, sort of um, a water note underneath. It is, I mean, it, it is spectacular. It is a beautiful, beautiful scent. I absolutely adore this scent. I found it extremely relaxing. This is actually a great transitional scent too for folks um, if it's still hot around you because it's like a blackberry tea. Again, it's like a refreshing blackberry tea, but a little bit of like that water note adds like a little bit of like a spa property to it. Very relaxing, very nice, very uh, very good end of summer, end of fall scent. You could do this for summer, you could do this for fall, you could do a transitional. It's great, absolutely love this scent. This is um, uh, another spectacular Yankee Candle scent. So the scent is spectacular, but how well does it throw? Well, there is the problem with this. This candle is extremely light. I've had some good luck with some of my Yankees for 2019 here so far, especially the fall ones. Not really this one though with strength. I would say this one is probably a four as far as like sending an open concept area where I normally test my stuff. However, this one, uh, this will end up being burned a bunch in the bedroom. And in the bedroom, it was spectacular because it was not overpowering. So. If you're going to burn this in a main area, be warned, this is very, very light, at least for that. At least mine was. In a bedroom, it was spectacular. In a bedroom, it was like a seven or eight. It was always there, but it gets lost in the open concept. Uh, there's just, there's no doubting that. It's, this is definitely a weaker Yankee. This one burned fantastic. I mean, you can see here, a great Yankee burner, and I burned it. It's been pooled to about here, so I mean, I burned it well over halfway. No problem. I burned it mainly with an aluminum lid to get it going and in a hurricane, especially in a bedroom because we have a fan always going on down there and it kind of creates issues with the air movement. But um, it's burned very, very well for a single wick. I mean, it's a single wick Yankee, right? Single wick paraffin Yankee. They normally always burn well. You take a while to pull out, but once it pulled out the first time, it's burned very, very even, very, very well. Final thoughts on blackberry tea. <laughs> Absolutely spectacular scent, but the, the scent throw on it is so light. I don't know about recommending it. Would I rebuy it? Yes, I would, just to try and see if it was stronger. Uh, I don't know if they make this one in a melt cup or not. If so, this would be the way to get it. I hope it comes back though, because the scent is absolutely amazing. And what I did to get over kind of the scent strength, and I, I made this amazing combo, and you're gonna see me eventually, I'm gonna do a mixology series, and this would be one that I would recommend. I had an apple pumpkin from Bath & Body Works, right, the classic. And I had that one burning with this, and that was spectacular because you get that apple clove note on top, which that candle is much stronger than this. That let that kind of did the power part of it, right? Like that that was the meat of the scent was that that beautiful apple clove that that scent is. Underneath you had the blackberry and the tea. Beautiful, beautiful. That created a very nice combination. I would strongly recommend if you have this candle or you're thinking about getting it, make sure you have uh, apple pumpkin from Bath and Body Works because you can get it now, uh, like every season. Spectacular scent, very, very delicious, like fall drink is what that reminded me of. Uh, and very, very relaxing. But yes, would I buy this again? I would because the scent is so good, but the strength, just be warned, mine was light. And I know talking from other, some other friends of mine, uh, it's it's very light. I think 
Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, I forget whenever I was chatting with her, I think cause she's bought a bunch of Yankees. She's kind of had some bad luck with a bunch of them. Uh, I think she had bad luck with this one too, but um, I could be wrong. I could be getting confused because she's had bad luck with a lot of the Yankees here recently. I feel bad because I'm like, you have to try these, you have to try these. She goes out and tries them and they're all duds. I guess that's kind of the problem with Yankee. They're still inconsistent and I've had more consistency problems, especially with a... Uh, one of the Halloween candles, which I'll get to that uh, whenever I can, uh, but I've been burning that one. But anyways, yes, some inconsistency problems with Yankee. Still, though, the scent is so good here. Yes, I probably would retry it. Maybe I'm just a masochist, and I, I'm just I want I want to suffer for my you know my purchases. But um, this one smells so good that uh, it's it actually you know what I don't even have a problem with the strength because this is a good bed bedroom candle the way it smells and burns. It's kind of perfect for that. But just be warned if you're gonna try this in an open concept area watch out it's just it's not very strong and i have heard from multiple people that have burned this it's just not that strong this year and uh, this is a new scent also for 2019 so when i say this year i mean i guess uh it's so far the scent has never been strong since it's only been offered this year but i do hope it comes back because so many people do like this scent i know from talking to others the scent is great just the the strength is not there just one of those inconsistencies from yankee so all right guys hey thank you very much if you uh burn blackberry tea if you have so far this season let me know what you think below and uh, I will see you guys very soon.